Right, this is a quick tour of my allotment. This is my rhubarb, which I've been picking for quite some time. You can see there's a bit of slug damage, but it doesn't matter because it's the stalks you eat. I've got a pear tree. I've got artichokes that are on the go. I've got another apple tree as we walk around. You won't go right through the fruit cage because it's a bit fiddly to go through there, but I've got raspberries, a whole row of raspberries going through there. I've got a plum tree and an apple tree in the fruit cage and a cherry tree. I've also got um, a blackberry right up at the end. I've got black currants here and further on under the netting are gooseberries, protecting those because the birds have started eating them and I'd like to have more than they do. We then move on to my brassicas. I've got broccoli and cauliflowers here. Had a little bit of slug damage, but I'm optimistic they're gonna recover. I've then got my kale, which I've recently planted, and my brussels. I have those under netting because at the allotment, I'm not able to keep the birds away any other way. I then move on to my runner beans, which I've sown some straight into the ground after soaking them for a day or two first. Um, and they plot, they grow much easier. I've also put some more in, so I've got a good supply of them in there. I then move on to my squashes and courgettes, which I largely plant on um, a weed suppressant base because they take quite a long time to come on and otherwise all the weeds just grow and it's just too much to maintain. So they're all on there. I've got sweet corn that I've planted and I plant that in a box shape because um, that's the way they pollinate. If you plant them in a row, a single row, they're harder for them to pollinate. Um, I've got broad beans, in the ground which won't be that long in coming so I've actually planted some of my sweet corn in between to make a complete box shape um, but because I don't have endless amounts of room sometimes you have to kind of like companion plant and I know that my broad beans will come along really really soon and my um, sweet corn will take much longer so the beans will be gone and the sweet corn can then just take over after that I can just cut it off at the bottom I then move over to my potatoes which have been in since March which are coming along really nicely but if you want to plant potatoes it's not too late to plant a later variety I've then got a section that's under netting which is my seeds I've got carrots and um, beetroot parsnips turnips radishes i've got a spare little row that i can plant in as well but i cover them because again i can't be up here all the time and often the birds will take the tops off the seeds as soon as they come in i've got a little section here which has got nothing on it at the moment but i'm going to be putting my leeks in there soon i then move on to my onions i've got shallots first which have been in for some time they're doing really well i've got garlic which have been in since um about october last year and as you can see by the color of the leaves they're nearly finished then I've got white and red onions as well, which are coming along nicely, and I've got a good amount of time still left on them. If you see any little tops like that, you just nip it off because it means it's going to seed and you don't want that to happen. And if you nip it off, it just stops it from um, affecting the plant adversely. And that's it, that's my first blog and a tour of my allotment. I hope you've enjoyed it.